Tanisha, and I want to welcome everyone to today's webinar, Improving the Learning Experience and Outcomes in Your Nursing Research Course. My name is Jennifer Stiles. I'm the Senior Marketing Manager for Nursing here at Jones & Barlow Learning, and I'm joined by my colleague, Mary Colleen Liberti. She's the Technology Product Manager here, and in the middle of the presentation, she'll conduct a live product demonstration of Navigate eFolio. Before we get started, I have just a few quick housekeeping announcements that I want to make known. All of the participant lines have been placed on mute, and like the operator indicated, we will be taking live question and answer at the very end of the presentation. However, if you do have questions as we go along, please feel free to send me, the host, Jennifer Stiles, a message via the chat, and that chat function is actually found in the participant panel. If you right-click on my name and select me, the host, I'll get that message and I can collect those questions for us to take at the very end. This presentation will also be recorded and will be posted within one week on our nursing community site found at www.jblnursing.com. So just a brief overview of the agenda, I'm going to walk us through some of the uh, features and benefits of the text that correspond with the Navigate eFolio product. And for those of you who are unfamiliar with Navigate eFolio, I'll discuss that at a high level. I'll then turn it over to Mary Colleen. She'll give the product demonstration. And then I'll talk a little bit about how you as an instructor can get started and up and running really quick with this product. I'll then talk about some of the pricing and the bundling options. I'll give you some faculty and student feedback. And then we'll talk a little bit about some of the research findings that we've conducted around this product that prove efficacy. So those of you who um, might be familiar and those who might not be familiar with our nursing research text, Reading, Using, and Creating Evidence, third edition by Janet Hauser, it actually published this spring, and it's uh, a cluster of premier nursing education, excuse me, nursing research texts. And the text takes a conversational tone, and it really makes this subject matter of nursing research quite accessible to students. The features, examples, and support materials instructors really find um, enhance the learning experience. And it still maintains a traditional approach, but focuses more on the how to do research aspect. This third edition features expanded content around appraisal and the use of evidence. And it also emphasizes the evidence-based practice content, especially in the using research section of each chapter. The recommendations from the National Institute of Nurses Research, of Nursing Research, as well as the AACN and Magnet Standards are also featured throughout the text. Wanted to give you just a quick background in case you're unfamiliar, but this uh, is a, a great text and we're happy to have it in the third edition. So let's talk a little bit about Navigate eFolio for those who might be a little unfamiliar with this tool. It's a great digital complement to the textbook. It features full course management tools, which you'll see in the product demonstration. It features an interactive ebook, which students really love having access to, even if they're using a print book. We found in our market research uh, surveys that students like having a print book beside an ebook. The ebook has a lot of features that allow for highlighting and note taking, saving, and printing notes. One of the really cool features of this particular ebook are the voices from the field, the audio case studies that you find sprinkled out through some of the chapters. Those are really a value add for the students. Instructors really love the practice activities, the assessments, the discussion questions, and also the discussion forum as well. So it allows this online product to create a sense of community when you're using that forum. So these are just some of the things you're going to see in the demo. At this time, I'm going to turn the presentation over to Mary Colleen. You will see the screen switch for just a moment, but it will come back and Mary Colleen um, will be sharing her desktop. Hi everyone, good day. It's so glad to be able to show this product to you and you're going to see my desktop coming up in a few moments. And we're just making that transition. It should be coming up any second. That's great. Okay, so today we're going to be reviewing um, the Nursing Research eFolio product. Um, and you should be seeing right now my desktop uh, and the course that we're actually going to be reviewing. 
This is a product that is available on our Navigate Learning Management System, which is an instance of Moodle. So if you're familiar with Moodle, then this is going to look very familiar to you. Uh, one thing I do want to point out is that this product is also available in a, a Blackboard cartridge and really in, you know, for any learning management system you're using, we can make this available to you. So again, a very flexible solution that can be utilized in any situation, but if you need a hosted solution, we can host that for you. Um, so what I'm going to do, just to, to give you um, a basic um, overview of, of how I'm going to move around, is I'm going to be showing you uh, the, the overall product. I'm going to point out some of the course tools and resources first, and then I'm going to move into the actual chapters um, that we have and the various activities that we offer. There are both instructor and student resources, and in some cases um, we've offered resources that really you can choose to share with your students if, you, if you'd like to. Um, I'm also going to just point out on a very high level some of the, the very uh, nice tools that allow you to really customize this product for your own needs and your own curriculum. So let me get started. Um, you're going to see some transitions back and forth of screens, me moving back and forth between various things. Um, it's, it's not uh, your imagination. You're going to see some movement. But um, I'm going to try to, to make it as, as uh, smooth and, and um, easy for you to, to review as possible. So let's get started with the course tools and resources. Um, these tools are really set to, to be uh, utilized the product across the entire set of chapters. So again, um, allowing the student opportunities to, to use things like, for instance, our interactive course glossary. So that opens up in a separate window and again allows the student to access the glossary. It can be either an alphabetical listing or we can also jump to various chapters. So they can look at the glossary um, term for that Factor. And again, opening in a separate window that really allows the student to kind of toggle back and forth between the glossary if they'd like to use that as a tool and the actual course. You're going to see a couple of these items that look somewhat gray to you, um, grayed out. And you're looking at the instructor side of this course. So what you're seeing are very, are very specific tools that we've only allowed instructors access to. Of course, you can, you can um, access these and make them available to your students if you'd like to, but we, we want to offer you, uh, in a default mode, the opportunity to make that choice yourself. So, so that's why you're seeing those items. And one of those is we have some instructor support videos and documentation. And again, this is really just more help, uh, more support for you so that you have some materials here. If you have a question, you can go directly in here and look at these videos. There's some great tools here that allow you to really see how, how to uh, move through the hosting, the grade book, grading and assignment, all those, those important subject areas that you, you'd like to be able to have at your fingertips um, when you have a question. That brings up a good point, though, that we, we do have support. We also, as Jen will mention, um, we have onboarding and um, technical support available for your students um, on a, um, a, for most of the day, and um, certainly we have support documentation 24-7. Let me point out that we have a syllabus document, and again, this is um, built in Microsoft Word, and I'm going to open that up for you. Um, allowing for you to augment and edit for your needs. So really, again, offering the ability to customize for your curriculum needs. And again, this is a chapter-based product, so it's set up, um, really aligns well with um, the book directly. We have the complete ebook available under Course Tools and Resources. I'm not going to open that up right now because I'm going to go into that in detail in a little bit. But just wanted to point that out, that, that that is available here under Course Tools. We have a document um, that is tied to this text, um, documenting um, evidence-based practice aspects. And I'm just going to show that to you quickly. Um, again, a very easy-to-use document. 
And let me see here. Let me open that up for you. Here it is. And again, this is taken directly from the text, but again, a document that students would lean on quite a bit and um, instructors may want to, to utilize as part of um, various tasks and assignments. We have uh, classroom discussion questions, which are available as a Microsoft Word document. Again, this is additional content for the instructor and available only to the instructor. So again, you have the ability to, to, to really use those as needed, and they're right at your fingertips, right within the course. We also have an instructor test bank, and obviously, you know, we don't want students to have access to that, but again, this is a Microsoft Word document and available for you to use um, as needed. So that is primarily the course tools and resources. And now I'm going to move into the actual chapters. So I'm just going to do a quick overview so you can see. So you can see there's a lot of content there for um, students. And they're going to be able to access any part of these courses. But the one thing I want to point out is this is a very flexible learning solution and allows you the ability to really um, customize for your needs and for your curriculum. So Moodle really allows you to turn things on and off, um, assign things as needed. So again, it makes it really flexible, allows you the ability to make it your institution's own product. And um, we know that we've gotten a lot of feedback about that. Also, there you, I'm going to be pointing out some great things about the student experience because we want the students to really succeed. And a big part of success for a student is being able to really customize their learning tools so that they can use them the way they need them to. So uh, again, I, I'll point that out to you. So I'm going to stop at Chapter 6, which is Selecting an Appropriate Research Design. And I'm just going to point out um, that this, this is a repeatable design. So as, as a student moves into one chapter, they're going to see the same elements and the same type of um, activities. And again, once they kind of understand how to use one chapter, they're really going to be able to, to use really any chapter within this product. So it's going to be really easy and familiar to them. So as you can see, there's a lesson description. And then the student moves into the welcome section. And I'm going to open up the chapter objectives. Those open up into the learning management system. So these are directly um, in the Moodle learning management system. And again, allows the instructor the ability to edit these if need be. If you're interested in adding or subtracting to these chapter objectives, you can easily do that. Moving on, um, I want to point out that we offer up the PowerPoints for this, this particular text within this actual learning solution. So again, these are offered um, in default mode only to the instructor, but you have the ability to offer those to the student if you'd like to. And just quickly to show you an example of those, this is the Chapter 6 PowerPoint. And again, they can be used in lecture or as a review activity for your students. Then as the student moves into the study section, this is where we're going to get into the ebook. So the student is going to have the ability to go directly to Chapter 6 in their ebook. Um, and let me go ahead and do that right now. I'm going to move that. I've already opened that. So let me get that open for you. And right now you're looking at the nursing research ebook. Um, you're looking at uh, the cover, obviously, of this. So if, if we were to open this up um, within the chapter, it would go directly to Chapter 6. But I wanted to kind of show the entire ebook to you and some of the really great functionality and tools that are available to the students. Because we know that students, you know, many students prefer using these digital tools now. We also know that there are some students that maybe aren't as happy using a, a, or a little bit skittish about using digital tools, and so there are some great um, functionalities and um, definitely things that are going to allow them to customize the learning experience to their own personal needs. So let's, let's point out some of the really obvious um, ways to navigate. 
Uh, very easy to use this product. Students can navigate using this navigational bar right up, right on the very top of the page. So again, that allows them that page-by-page -page control. They can also navigate using either the Contents tab, which is over on the left side here. And this really breaks it right down to uh, the TOC, the Table of Contents, so they can go directly into that chapter. So now we're in Chapter 6. The other great tool that they have is um, a Media Library tab. And this is great because it takes the student directly to the media. So if they want to go in and review any of the interactivities and, and practice those over and over and over again, they have the ability to do that. They don't have to go and flip through the pages to find that. They can actually access it this way. So that makes it really convenient for them. So let me point out a couple of the other great tools that are tied to the ebook. First of all, the student has a lot of opportunities to view this the way they'd like to. They can view it single page, which you're seeing right now. They also have that ability to view it in a double page. They can fit to height. So if they want to see images or see the entire page, they can do that. And they can also fit to width. So if they want to see something across the page or get a close up, they can do that. They also have the ability to change and zoom in, so they can go pretty large on this. Um, they can also use the scroll hand here, and they can move the, move the page around. And then they have that ability to always go back and change and zoom out if possible, and if they'd like to. And we can go back to the single page view, and let's move into page six, or chapter six. Um, I'm going to point out a couple couple of um, the things that a student's going to see as they move through these pages. So we're on um, a page that offers one of the features, the interactive features that is within um, the Hauser book that it's unique to this book. So we have the voices from the field feature, and this is a case study showing um, students' opportunity to really utilize research in practice. Um, such an important part of understanding the concepts in this book is being able to see how it's applied. So what we've done here is we've actually made this feature interactive. And how we've done that is we've made that into a, a, a audio case study. And then we've added questions. So you're going to see this. This actually has an audio function. And I'm going to play it just for a little bit just so you can hear it topic of patient satisfaction on an inpatient unit. Patient interviews revealed that patients were commenting about the lack of timely response to call bells. I also noticed that sometimes the call bell console at the nurse's station would be lit up and no one made a move to answer the bells, even when people were standing right by the console. I'm going to turn that off right now, the audio. But the principle behind this interactivity is really to allow the student to kind of take this material and really understand it from the point of view of the author, the person who's talking about their experience. And these are real world experiences that um, professionals are speaking about. And then after they go through this, this is a complete transcript, so it's a complete audio presentation of these case studies. I'm going to move through. As you can see, the student has a lot of control over this activity. They can listen to this, and then as they get to the end of it, there's some questions for them to answer. In this case, there's three questions. They can go through this material, and they get immediate feedback. So they submit their answer, they get immediate feedback, and then they can move on to the next question. And again, this is a practice activity, but it gives them an opportunity to really understand this concept, this content, and, and spend some time really relating it to the theories in the actual book. One thing I'm going to be pointing out in a moment is that once the student goes through this material, we've taken this Voices from the Field feature and we've actually added a second piece to this, which is after Voices from the Field. So the Voices from the Field feature is in the early part of the chapter. As they make their way through the chapter, 
and read through more content and more concepts. Then they actually go through this after Voices of the Field feature and answer more questions that are based on the things that they've learned in that chapter. So again, another chance for them to review content and do a little bit of a knowledge check. So let's go back into the actual ebook. And I just wanted to point out a couple of the other tools that exist in here. We have a bookmark feature. So they can go in and, and bookmark this page. They can create the bookmark, and then they can actually go over and they'll be able to see where their bookmarks are within the actual page. So these are their own bookmarks, and they'll be able to refer to those at any time and go directly to that page. They also have the ability to add a note to the page, so if they want to um, bring something to their attention or something that they should review, or if they want to even enter a link, they can do that at this point. They can, and they can actually save that, and then they can go back and go into their notes page, and then the note is recorded there. And then they can actually highlight. And let me just get the highlight. Uh, they can go in and highlight text. And again, the same thing happens here. They have a listing of all of their highlights. And they can actually print this out, which is fantastic. So if they have key concepts that they want to focus on, they're all here, and they can actually even print those out. So again, working with that, that user that may be more of a digital immigrant who, who really doesn't feel as comfortable with the digital workflow completely, they have those, the ability to go in and print out pages of the book, their highlights, or their notes, and they can print up to 10 pages at any time. So that's, the, that's most of the ebook. We also have a great index tool that allows the student to, to, if they're looking for specific information, it's an interactive index. They can go in there and search. And they also have an interactive glossary, again, that's tied to the book. So again, giving them a lot of great tools to work with, being able to use this content at their fingertips, really, really, really useful. So let me go back into the actual ebook or the course manager piece, um, and we can go in and take a look at the other tools that the, the students have at their hand um, to study. So we have flashcards. Again, the flashcards are, are also available in our companion website, but we like to um, house all the materials in the actual uh, course piece so that the student can stay right here and they can find everything. Again, uh, flashcards, very simple for, for students to use. I'm just going to throw something in here, um, check answer, and again, the student will get, they'll see their answer and what the correct answer is. And in this case, they have up to 11 terms, and these are all glossary terms that are available in the text. Then as, as we move through the study, we also have crossword puzzles. And again, these are all generated from the glossary terms in Chapter 6. So cha these are specific to Chapter 6. And again, they can type that information in there. And um, they can check their answers. And they can solve it. Now moving from the study section, we'll move into review and practice. And this is, these, these materials are, are just fantastic. Um, for this, this content, we have these critical appraisal exercises. I'm going to open up one of those. These are all directly tied to that Moodle environment or whatever learning management system you have. So these are authored directly in, in your learning management system, meaning you can edit these and augment them. These are assignable and manually gradable. So again, giving you a lot of flexibility. We, the um, instructor's rubric uh, that comes in the instructor resources gives the answers to these materials, so you have that as a guide. 
And again, you know, you can really customize these to your own needs, but boy, it, it's just a great amount of content to utilize, and the student can work right directly in the learning management system. So again, offering a ton of flexibility. These are all either short answer or short essay questions. Then we'll move into the student workbook exercises. And again, as you can see, there's 13 of these in this chapter. It ranges um, chapter by chapter, but there's typically eight to, to, to 12 of these workbook activities. And again, these, these really range all over the place. Um, short answer to short essay, same thing, assignable, gradable, um, and we have the instructor's rubric to help you with these. So again, this is um, you know short essay or short answer questions. That, and these are specific to this Hauser text. We also offer a practice quiz. So you'll see here this is this is again assignable and gradable, um, and this is ten questions. And again, allowing students to really have a little bit of a knowledge check. Uh, these are multiple choice, multi-response questions. Um, again, just giving the student the ability to um, do some practicing. And again, directly in, um, in the learning management system authored, so you can go in there and augment and edit those as needed. And then we move into that evaluation section, you know, where students are really being, going in here and, and being able to really understand you know how they're doing so they have a ch we have a chapter six test and there's a test in each one of these chapters the, the instructor can use this as needed um, in this case there are 10 questions and we we uh, you know this is assignable and gradable so really offering a lot of flexibility this is where you really have a lot of power um, the instructor can go in and really edit these these um, questions, you can really work with that configurable grade book and really assign um, a lot of weighting to these questions if, if you're interested in that. And again, um, if you're using Moodle, Moodle makes that very, very easy. And then we have some discussion questions. And we know how important discussion questions are in, in really facilitating online learning. So again, we've offered quite a few of them. Um, this works directly with that discussion forum. So you can pose the question and then your students can, can answer these questions or work in teams depending on how you'd like to, to do it. And then of course you have the ability to really augment these as well and these are assignable. So as you can see, there is just a multitude of opportunities for students to really practice, study, and then be evaluated as they move through this content. And you have a lot of options to really customize that for your curriculum. So that's really the review of this, this digital learning solution. Um, and I'm going to hand it back over to Jen. Great. Thanks, Mary Colleen. That was a great in-depth overview of what this product has to offer. And just for the attendees on the line, you will see the screen switch just briefly here while Mary Colleen transfers back the presenter rights to me. Okay, here we go. So everyone, Mary Colleen, can you see, um, you might not be able to see the presentation. I'm just going to share that out again. Uh, Yep, it's it's moving right now. Okay. It's uh, we're almost seeing it. Okay, great. Do you see the getting started slide? We are. Okay, perfect. Great, thank you. So, just wanted to walk you through the getting started and the onboarding process. And as Mary Colleen pointed out during the presentation, you know we do have uh, faculty onboarding with a technical support account specialist from Jones and Bartlett Learning who will walk you through and give you all the steps and tips you need to incorporate this into your course. And Mary Colleen had also gone out to the Navigate site and showed us all of the instructor resources that are available, all of the videos for how to grade, how to set up an assignment. So those two are on demand resources that you can use at any time. And 
you know, other resources I wanted to point out that are already built into this Navigate eFolio are the chapter objectives, the syllabus, the, and the test bank. So everything so that you can really hit the ground running. Uh, I also wanted to spend just um, one minute talking about the LMS integration. I did get a couple of questions over chat asking if this integrated with uh, Blackboard, and we do have Blackboard cartridges available for seamless integration. And if you get to that point, then your onboarding uh, specialist can help you with that. Let's talk a little bit about uh, the purchase options that are available. So if you're looking to purchase this product, we have two options. You can purchase the standalone access to the digital product only to the Navigate eFolio that you just saw. And the pricing is on an access code basis, and it's $73.95 per student. You're also welcome to bundle this with the textbook that I introduced at the beginning of the presentation and the bundle list price for the print text plus the Navigate eFolio digital product is $141.95 per student. And the access to the eFolio runs a full year, just in case you're wondering about that as well. I think it's powerful when we can show uh, faculty actually using this product and you know we've gathered a little bit of uh, instructor feedback here and this is from an instructor who's actually using the product for pathophysiology in her course and I thought it was a really powerful quote in a testimonial and she tells us that within just an hour she was able to get up and running to edit the content in her course that the customer support she dealt with here at Jones and Bartlett Learning was very knowledgeable, patient, and excellent in their instruction of this product. She was also using a similar competitive product for one of her microbiology courses and tells us that it just doesn't have the flexibility and functionality of our Navigate platform. I really think that that speaks volumes for how robust this product is and the value add to both instructors and students. And she comes from Eastern Gateway Community College. And again, this was an unsolicited uh, piece of feedback that I actually received from, from one of the reps on the nursing team. So great to, to have this feedback from instructors who are just really thrilled to be using this product and see a lot of value in it. In terms of what students have to say, we've done various market research studies, have engaged students in focus groups, and they really love the ebook uh, portion of the product. And they like the fact that they can take notes, that they can highlight different areas, that they can print their notes, that they can save the course material, and that they can really make it their own and incorporate it into their studying and make it a really good study tool for them. Others tell us that it makes the learning fun and more enjoyable, and especially for some of the nursing topics around nursing research and pathophysiology, some of the content they might find a little bit dry or they might find it complex. So when we can infuse um, animations like we have in our pathophysiology product or some of the voices from the field case studies like you just saw Mary Colleen demonstrate, it makes the learning um, that much more powerful for a student. And, you know, we've done some efficacy studies, which I'll present to you on the next slide. And we find that when students have access to different digital uh, media, that it actually really has an impact on their learning and their engagement, and that it can increase the engagement and improve outcomes in your course. And we know uh, that every college and university is charged with, with that, um, that goal. So this was based on a 2013 market research study at Darton State College and University of Texas at Tyler. We surveyed a group of 65 students who were using another Navigate eFolio product for nursing informatics. And more than 80% of the students gave us great feedback saying that this product definitely prepared them well for the course they enjoyed using it, and it helped them study efficiently, and they would recommend it to a student for future use. We do have several research papers on the Navigate uh, eFolio site, and I invite you to check out the rest of that uh, paper as well. You can visit www.jblnavigate.com slash research, and I will be sending out um, a wrap-up email post-conference that will have that link as well as some of the other links that I want to share with you here on our resources page. If you'd like to learn more about Navigate eFolio, you can visit our Navigate eFolio site at jblnavigate.com slash eFolio. And you can even try this product as well as any of our other digital nursing products in our virtual sandbox. This is a great tool. It allows you on-demand, anytime access 
to the Navigate eFolio product that you saw here today or any of the other courses that we've created for products within the nursing discipline. If you'd like to contact your sales rep and schedule uh, a more personalized demo, you want to see a few of the features a little bit more in depth, we invite you to do that as well. And if you visit the Contact Your Rep section of the JB Learning website, you can find that there as well. And if you're interested in some of the research findings and the efficacy studies that we've done around our digital products, I invite you to uh, you know, check out, download those PDFs, and that's available on our Navigate site as well. At this time, I'm going to see what questions that have come in over the chat. I'm actually going to invite the operator back on the line for her to instruct the participants about how they can ask a question live. As a reminder, if you'd like to participate in the interactive question and answer session, please press star and the number one on your telephone keypad. You will hear a tone acknowledging your request and a prompt to record your name. We'll pause for just a moment to compile the Q&A roster. Great. Thank you so much. And if you'd like to take advantage of the chat function, you know, I encourage you to do that as well. We'll also take questions via chat. And we'll just uh, give a couple minutes for, for you to compose your questions there. I know that there's been a lot of information uh, that we've relayed in just a short period of time. And just to reiterate, I will be sending out a recap email featuring all of these links to the sandbox. Um, link to our eFolio site so that you can check out this product as well as some of the other eFolio products we have for nursing as well. And this presentation has been recorded if you'd like to share it with other colleagues and you can find that posted to our community site at www.jblnursing.com and we'll have that up there within about a week's time. Tanisha, do we have any questions from our participants? Yes, yeah, do you have a question from the line of one new caller? Okay, go ahead. Hello. Hello there. Thank you very much for your presentation. I'm I'm very um, very interested to see how technology is driving education forward in I think a good way. My question is: Has um, our this is D2L, and I'm wondering if D2L is it, uh, compatible, or if if there is a a tool available to make this compatible with D2L. Hi, this is Mary Colleen. Um, yes, we can go ahead and um, basically what we do is we build what is called a cartridge for D2L. We can make that available to you, um, and you know it will integrate with your learning management system. So basically, this course is going to look very, very similar on your learning management system. You know, obviously D2L looks a little bit different than Moodle, but the, the structure, the content, everything that is editable um, in this, you know, what you saw today is will also operate the same way in your learning management system. And then the ebook piece is really, it's a browser-based product. So that actually um, is going to operate you know, outside the learning management system, that you're basically linking to it. So that's going to look exactly the same uh, based on the browser that uh, your students use. So, so you should have no problems working with this content um, for D2L. Thank you. You're welcome. And there are no further questions in queue. Okay, and it doesn't look like we have um, you know, many questions that have come in over the chat today. And at this time, I'd like to thank Mary Colleen for joining us and for a really in-depth product demonstration. And I'd like to thank everyone who joined us today, taking time out to hear all about this Navigate Folio product. And you'll be hearing from us shortly with a follow-up wrap-up note with a link to how you can download this or share the presentation with your colleagues. And I do encourage you to take advantage of the virtual sandbox and to try out Navigate eFolio or any one of our digital nursing products for yourself. That's all from us today, and want to thank you again and hope to see you at another uh, online event.